DSB tries it. Hello everyone, Phil here, and welcome to a new edition of DSP Tries It. It's been quite some time since I've been to Arby's, ladies and gentlemen. They really haven't had too much new in the realm of what they're offering. In fact, typically they only offer things like roast beef, turkey, different kinds of chicken sandwiches, every once in a while, you know, ham or some kind of other meat that they put into a sandwich, but it's pretty standard what they offer. Their menu every once in a while will have a little twist to it, but usually doesn't have anything brand spanking new out of nowhere to offer. Today, I'm trying a, a limited edition sandwich. They say it's there for a limited time only. It's supposed to be a spin on a sandwich they already have. In fact, I may have done a DSP Tries It about it years ago. I think I did. I think I tried their Italian sandwich. Uh, you know, way back when, when I first moved to Washington because there's no Arby's out in Connecticut where I lived. So I, I know I was trying all the new stuff around here. Well, here we are three years later, a new variation on it. It's called the Smoked Porchetta Italian Sandwich. If you're not aware, porchetta is a kind of meat. I believe it is a fattier meat. It is typically used in Italian dishes and or Italian delis and sandwiches, okay? So here it is, and the first thing I wanna show you, all right, it's big, look at my hand. It's the entire length of my hand, when typically when you get a sandwich at a fast food place, it's maybe like half that, you know, even a burger usually is about half the size. So this sandwich is pretty substantial, at least in size, um, for what you would normally expect from a fast food place. Now, FYI, I got the combo, which is the sandwich, fries, and a drink, which is I think like $8 or $8 and change, something like that. I believe the sandwich itself is between five to $6, depending on your region. Okay, here I think it's $5.99 because I'm at the top of the pricing scale, but other places might have it for a little bit cheaper. <clears throat> now, what comes on the smoked porchetta Italian style sandwich? Let's take a look. Well, we've got some kind of what it looks like either sauce or mayonnaise on the top. That's the smoked porchetta meat. And let me tell you, mm, it's actually pretty aromatic. Like it's very, a very strong scent coming off of the sandwich. I see an onion on the bottom. I think what I'm gonna attempt to do if I can is lift it up and look at it from the underside. Cause I think it has a lot of stuff. Oh, look at that. That's a good cross section. So what you can see is you see porchetta <clears throat> and then that appears to be a piece of provolone cheese melted in there. Those, uh, that's a banana pepper right there. I believe there's another, I think there's a, a lettuce and tomato crunched in at the bottom there and some onion, red onion, okay? So that's what it looks like is coming on this sandwich. Yeah, you can see there, there it is. There's your, your banana pepper, there's your tomato and a little bit of lettuce. I know there's lettuce on it because look, there's lettuce coming off the back of it. I believe there may also be some kind of Italian style mixed dressing. And what I mean by that is usually Italians, when they have a sandwich, they'll go with olive, not olive oil, excuse me, um, some kind of like vegetable oil mixed with vinegar, okay? And sometimes also salt and pepper. And I actually do see some pepper and seasonings on here. Now, I don't know if that was added or if it was in the meat itself. Um, so that's exactly what it is. Lettuce, tomato, banana peppers, red onion, melted, uh, provolone cheese, the smoked porchetta meat itself, and you know, the Italian uh, sauce and seasonings and some, I may have mayo at the top. I'm not sure if that's mayo or another kind of sauce. We're gonna find out together, all right? It smells great, like, mmm. It's a very rich, smoky smell to it. You know, it is smoked porchetta, very smoky smell to it. You know, the whole bag, when I opened it, smelled like this smoked smell, which is funny because typically when I get Arby's, all I can smell is the fries because their seasoned curly fries are very overpowering. Not this time. This time I really genuinely smelled the porchetta, which is good. Um, all right, well, I'm gonna take a bite. I'm gonna let you know what I think. And by the way, I would say the wheat of this is probably a, typically a little bit heavier than say um, a McDonald's cheeseburger, probably a McDonald's McDouble, you know the double cheeseburger that they put out? That's about how hefty this is, half of it. And keep in mind you get two halves of this too. All right, okay, let me give it a bite. I'll let you know what I think, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Folks, that is delicious. Mmm. That meat, that porchetta meat, it's salty, 
but it's not too salty. It's moist, it's not dry. It may look dry, it's not. It's very moist. It's flavorful, it's tender. As I said, porchetta is a fatty meat, so that's probably why it's so flavorful, not good for you at all, but man, that tasted, that was a delicious bite. However, I really didn't get anything but the porchetta and the cheese. You can see I didn't really get anything else. I'm just gonna take a bite from this end and see what it tastes like with all the veggies. Let's see. Mmm. Oh yeah. So now I can definitely confirm that they put that oil vinegar mix on there. You know, it has a little bit of sweetness to it. So maybe it's even like, it may be like a light Italian dressing or something that they put on there. Cause I tasted the, the, the banana pepper tanginess. I tasted the cheese was delicious. And whatever that dressing was mixed in with the porchetta. Mmm, that was really good. Dude, I'm not even lying. I'm not even lying. My mouth is watering. I took two bites, my mouth is like uh, watering. Wanting more of this sandwich. So, I guess that's a good sign. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. I'm gonna take a bite on the other side here. This side should have the tomato. I haven't gotten any tomato yet. Let's see how this tastes. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's great. You get the acidity of the tomato, the tanginess of the banana pepper, the juiciness of the meat, the cheese, oh, it is this sandwich. The flavors complement each other perfectly. A lot of times when I do DSP tries it, I say, man, I really wish this sandwich just had one more thing to it, right? I say, oh, I wish it had, uh, you know, a kind of sauce, or I wish it had a cheese, or I wish it had a n another veggie. I, honest to God, think that what they did, they tried a ton of combinations, and they found the perfect one. This is perfect, the, the added tanginess of the banana pepper, the little bit of the, the sweetness of the onion, everything works together perfectly in this sandwich. And I thought it was gonna be super messy, it actually isn't. Look, it's not dripping. They didn't overpoweringly put seasoning on it with, with, with sauce or anything. It looked, they, they did it right. They actually built this sandwich correctly, which is surprising for fast food, right? <laughs> um, I'm finding it very hard to find something negative to say about this sandwich. I really am. Um, I'm gonna take another bite or two and then I'm gonna give you my verdict, but so far so good. Here, I'll take one bite from this end again that has all the seasonings and, and sauces and stuff on it. Mm. Mm. All right, and one head on bite, and then I'll let you know what I think. Mm hmm. Folks, I really do this on DSP Tries It. Ladies and gentlemen, the limited edition smoked porchetta Italian sandwich from Arby's is a five out of five. That is excellent. That is as good, I'm serious, as if I went to an Italian deli and they custom made the sandwich for me. Of course, I'm sure it's not as fresh. They would have given you heart baked bread and shit that they probably make for it locally or whatever. But for a fast food sandwich, this is, if you like Italian food, this is damn good, all right? Now, first of all, it's limited time. So if you're interested, I recommend you get over there now because they do have another sandwich that's very similar. It's the Italian style. However, what that is, is um, I think it's, it's, it's not this, it's not the smoked porchetta. It's a different kind of Italian meat with pepperoni. It might have salami, I'm not sure. It's basically different meats, all right? And it doesn't have the smoked flavoring to it at all. So you can still get that, that's permanently on their menu. This, the, the variation here is that they added the smoked porchetta with everything else and it really works. Um, now also, there was something on the menu that I saw and I was like, oh my God, that's ridiculous. They have, you know at Arby's sometimes you get these ginormous sandwiches, They're, you, sometimes they don't even list them on the menu but they exist, you can get these like, these half pound sandwiches of meat, all right? They have a half pound Italian giant sandwich that has smoked porchetta, 
plus pepperoni, salami, you know, all those other hams or, or other meats, excuse me, from the other Italian sandwich. It's insanely tall. Now, I didn't get that for two reasons. Number one, that's way too much meat for me. I can't eat that much meat, all right? I wouldn't have finished it, and if I did, I would have got sick or it would have hurt me, you know. I should be eating a ton of red meat to begin with. Number two, that's probably incredibly messy. Can you imagine trying to eat a sandwich that's stacked like this high? You can't even hold it dripping, everything's coming out of it. This, in my opinion, is the perfect way to present the smoked porchetta because it fits perfectly on the, on the, you know, the roll that they've chosen and it allows you to get all the flavors without making a mess. That, if you're insanely hungry or you wanna take it on a dare, you can go check that sandwich out. I don't recommend it. This is great. For me, the smoked porchetta Italian sandwich from Arby's, five, five, five out of five. I almost never give five out of five. I'm giving it a five out of five, it's that good. All right, folks, thank you for watching DSP Tries It. See you next time.